Hi everybody, this is Julia from Just One More Card and I am back as a guest designer for Concord and Ninth today. Very excited to show you the two projects that I did with their new stamp and die set called Winter Cottage. Um, I used it once as it was intended and then um, made a more easy card. So I hope the one of the projects, at least one of the projects will appeal to you. I love them both. So here are both the stamp and die set which coordinate, but of course you can use them separately as well. I mean, just look at these trees. I mean, trees with snow. It's exciting. Anyhow, I'm um, taking a deep breath. You'll need a template. I drew this one myself, but Concord and Ninth has one on their website so that you can download and print out. Um, what this does is that for each of these sections that you will uh, need to create a f like the special 3D card, you'll need a certain size of cardstock. And this template simply helps you and it's easily labeled so you know exactly which die goes onto which piece of paper. You won't cut it from one piece of paper, don't worry. This is just to help you cut the pieces of paper to prepare. Okay, so each of these sections needs its own thing. And I just fold this piece of paper up and store it with my die and with my stamp. So I always have the reference, you know, I printed it on the, or I drew it on a cheap piece of paper. So I just have the reference at hand all the time. So here are the pieces of paper that I cut from sturdy cardstock. This is Simon's stamp heavy cardstock, which I'll be using. And they're the sizes that were shown on the template. Now I want to glitter this up. You know me, I love glitter. I love everything sparkly. What's the bird? I know the name in German, but I don't know the name in English. You know the bird that, you know, likes glittery stuff? You guys tell me in the comments. I know you're awesome. So what I'm doing right now is I'm putting the paper that I already pre-cut on double-sided adhesive. And then when I peel back the double-sided adhesive on the paper, the paper is sticky and I'm pouring glitter on top of it. So I, I'm basically creating my own glitter paper, all right? And I'm using Elizabeth Crafts glitter. All the supplies will be listed in the video description below as always. And I'm rubbing it after I poured it over because once you rub it, it, you set it, that makes it extra shiny and it doesn't come off. So you don't have a mess anymore. Now, when you die cut this, um, you want to make sure that your die is somewhat straight, not entirely, but somewhat straight. And the top of the die, for example, here, the tree um, is like lines up with the top of your piece of paper. Okay, so that will just make it easier to put it together later on. So here, for example, I'll make sure that the top of the house is somewhat like somewhat somehow like s nudges against the top of this piece of paper. I'm going to run this through my big shot or I did magic of two E. There we go. And you get this amazing detail here with the dice. It's just really, really awesome with the house. And then of course, with the entire tree line here and it's all sparkly and glittery. It's so amazing. You're going to be am amazed. So now comes the fun part. You're going to grab the stamp and they make it really easy for you because there are two house stamps, not house, the doctor house, the house. And it even says, use this one with the die. So you don't have to think about it twice. They make it super easy for you. So Angie and Greg, amazing job. I'm using simple die ink here. This one is from Ranger, I think. And I'm just stamping on top of the glitter. It doesn't feather, it doesn't smear. Well, you have to let it dry a little bit. Um, you actually let it dry a long bit, um, but you can stamp on top of the glitter. Doesn't hurt your stamp doesn't do anything except apply color to the glitter so you can use your stamps with the glitter. It's just, I'm so excited. I mean, this is going to be a sparkly green Christmas tree. Blows my mind. Totally blows my mind. And I'm even going to do it again because I can, because it's a misty and it's easy and it's going to darken up the color a little bit. At first I was worried that the color might run or like feather, but it didn't at all. Now for the tree line, what I'm doing here is I'm inking it up. Sorry for the you know movement here of the camera. I'm very energetic when it comes to this, when I'm excited. Um, I first inked it up with the light ink, uh, light green ink, and then I'm coming in at the bottom and dabbing some dark green ink on it. And then I'm coming back with the light and make sure that the tops of the trees only have the light green ink. And this way I get a really nice gradient and I'll double stamp this as well. I'm not going to show the double stamping, but I double stamp this as well. And I get a super awesome gradient of color. It looks really, really cool. I really, really like the effect. Because it looks, you know, it looks a little bit more interesting than when you just have one color. So now I have a gradient on glitter. 
How awesome is that? Now, speaking of gradients, this is the background piece um, that will hold the entire like card, which actually is the card, and I'm just using my distressing on top of it. I mean, amazing! You can, you know, color your glitter with distressing. Keep in mind, this will remain wet for a while because the color can't seep into the cardstock because the adhesive is in between. So I'm not sure if you can take your heat gun to this because you might damage the glitter and the glue, like the double-sided adhesive. So you just might have to give it some time to dry. If you, um, so you don't risk smearing it. Make sure you won't get anything on your finger because that's going to be a catastrophe. Ask me how I know, because I'm touching it here with my finger. Anyhow, Versafine ink and the sentiment, of course, from the same stamp set, because this is going to be the part of the card that's facing you. So I decided to put my sentiment right there. Now, putting this thing together basically means that you have these flaps, like you will see them when you die cut these pieces. There are flaps. You just put adhesive on them and fold them backwards. Then you line these up just like this. Do this and that's it. That's it. And then look at this. Look at the dimension that you get. Isn't that amazing? I never did a card like this before. I would never have dared. But with these dies, it's super duper easy. And here's a close-up. Just look at the glittery spark, sparkly goodness, whatever. You see, I'm speechless actually stumbling over my words and look at the detail you get with the um with the stamps and with the dies i just love the detail look here at this tiny house just imagine the possibilities that this opens up you can even you can color this you can leave it white i mean literally the possibilities are endless and here's the entire card you can write um your greeting on the back side of the card or even at the front here with the snow drifters so it's really there's a lot of possibilities now, I promised you two projects, and the second one is going to be a much easier one, or easy, clean and easy one. What I did is I masked off um, parts of my card front, I'm just leaving this vertical stripe uh, open, and I'm using Distress Ink to create a night sky. Now, I wish I could say I came up with this color combination by myself, but I really didn't. I found it on Pinterest. Um, I'm not entirely sure whom to credit for that, so I'm really sorry I didn't write it down. Um, Probably you guys will know and will let me know. I will list the colors in the video description below. But again, this is not my brainchild. I wish it was. Um, the colors did not come from my own brain. Um, but they create a beautiful night sky. Like It's just like a magical night sky. I don't know. I feel in winter, night skies are really amazing. So you can see me just doing all the nice blending here and just going over it numerous times to make sure that the colors give you a really really soft gradient and in the end i'm even going in with some black soot right here uh, very carefully but i really wanted to have it dark here at the very top to have the illusion that it really you know the sky really becomes darker further up now i grab the tree line stamp and i'm going to ink it up with um, versafine onyx black pigment ink right there double stamp it as well to make sure it's really rich and black and, and intense. And I like how this kind of, the image kind of opens up towards the bottom. So you don't even need to do anything down there. It's just like as if the trees are standing in the snow and it's just amazing. Peeling off my masking tape here and you can see the crisp line that you get from the masking. It's just amazing. And it looks like you're peeking into this forest at night. Of course, I had to add one of the wonderful sentiments here as well. And then I'm using my, um, uh, this is just a white marker. I think it's a Sharpie white marker. And I'm adding my stars into the night sky. I just, actually, that was the part I was looking forward to most before I saw how awesome the snow-capped trees look down there. Um, but I just had to add some stars to this night sky because it makes it look so magical. Later on, I actually grabbed my Stardust gel pen and added some um, glittery um, accents in there as well. I hope you can see them. They're not, they're very subtle, but when you tilt it in the light, you can see that. So I was really happy how the gradient turned out here. And I was super impressed how the trees look if you just use them by themselves. As you can see here, it really looks like there's a snow drift from which the trees rise up. So it's really awesome. You don't even need to do anything that you can just stamp the tree line and it's perfect as it is. So I hope these two projects inspired you. One is a more involved one and this one is a design that you can easily mass produce and have lots of cards for Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much Concord and Ninth for having me. Here are some more uh, um, 
uh, Christmas cards or cards with Cocoa Nine 9 supplies. And if you like this project, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you again soon. Bye bye.